transcription Mumbai not your shit well. What if transcription made a video where the wrote a hypothetical version of Batman Returns that excludes Catwoman from the script and just had it a war between Batman and the Penguin? Gracious good sevens I've come up with a version like that, well, I take out Catwoman so I can put in some other people. Imagine Lord like who? Gracious good sevens well, Billy D. Williams is Harvey Dent slash Two-Face could have appeared, of course, since he was supposed to originally. But, just as importantly, taking out Catwoman could have left a lot more room to develop the main plot. People besides me have said that Catwoman really didn't do anything in the film that another character couldn't have done but, more to the point I just got home from seeing the Batman. 2022, today, and I really enjoyed it. I keep wondering why Tim Burton's films, and Batman Returns in particular, which I also love, couldn't have been as deep and rich in thematic content. I suppose there are many explanations that could be given, ranging from it was a different time to Burton has never been a plot-based filmmaker. To the first explanation I would reply, look, even as far back as the 1930s they were making action-adventure films with nuance and depth and to the second I would say, yes, but Burton has never been a screenwriter. So can't he just let his script stand on its own without refracting it through his own sensibilities? Of every Batman film in history, Batman, 1989, is still my favorite. Burton worked with the script rather than against it, and the narrative depicted a fairly realistic Gotham City without making the entire story bleak and unfit for family viewing. It makes me angry that moviegoers under the age of 13 or perhaps even younger are not going to be allowed to see the Batman, and even angrier that they would not enjoy it, even if they were allowed. We need to remember that, from the 1940s all the way up through the 1990s, Batman was intended to be primarily a children's character. You might as well adapt Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs for mature audiences as well. Oh, wait, they have done that. Imagine Lord I completely agree. The only reason that they even picked Catwoman was because of the 1966 TV series and I completely hear some to the things that I blame some of the crap that we superhero fans have to deal with and I'm sorry if you have to do a little research on some of these topics one idiot mothers who are easily scared by everything to the book section of the innocence thing that was revealed to be a lie. Three, that stupid time that that idiot Faith Daniels attacked Batman Returns on NBC's A Closer Look for Hypocrite Parents and the Bajest Defender is the movie Lego Batman, Family Matters and yes I know that it's aimed at kid but it's a movie that treats its Akuians like their morons I know that it was the movie that introduced Jason Todd as Red Hood but they completely changed the backstory of the sea and brought in chaining it to a falling out with Batman instead of being killed by the Joker and in a Lego movie would be the perfect place for a under the Red Hood story like that because their leg is just take off heads and limbs and there would be, as you could do it without making it overly gory gracious good sevens by the way, I remember, that face Daniel's show. Yes, it was pretty cringe one. They interviewed children who shouldn't have been taken to see the film in the first place. Imagine Lord from my point of view it would be very easy to assume that some of those kids were told what to say even before they went up on stage gracious good sevens exactly. Imagine Lord yet I know if those kids weren't told to say that they probably would be saying good things about Batman Returns. 
gracious good sevens I'm pretty sure kids would still be traumatized by a murder, even if it were done in a slapstick way. But I've been giving some serious thought to the possibility of Hollywood remaking Batman, 1989, and Batman Returns, as well as reimagining Batman Forever. Many people, of course, would respond with not another remake, or the time for that has passed. But I think that in 2022 it's more plausible than ever, partly because of the glut of Disney remakes, partly because of the fan scription series, but mostly, because Michael Keaton returning to the role of Batman in The Flash moves the ideal just a little beyond the theoretical. Between that and the Hom slash Quinones 89 comics miniseries for DC, it's clear that the Burton verse is alive and well I think there are ways to do this without appearing to be retreading or blatantly copying. The new versions could be animated films, DC certainly puts out a lot of those, or they could be a series of video games in the style of Batman, Arkham Asylum. It could even be pulled off in a way similar to what Rockstar Games did with Walter Hill's The Warriors. They basically retold the story of the 1979 film in video game form, but added some lost scenes and came up with an extended prologue. And I loved it. Imagine Lord I agree the Batman Return of the Joker, for an ES was a non-canon sequel to the first move and they really should use the comics to wrap in everything that came after that film, since the 89 comics were a real letdown.